And now, we will run a linear static analysis with radios. Before we start the analysis, please make sure to save your work again. Preferably as a hypermesh binary file. As the model was previously saved as a hypermesh file, we just need to click on Save. Let us activate the analysis page in the panel area and now select the solver radios. A remark regarding the input file. Do not forget to use the file extension .fam. It is really important, even though you may be able to start the analysis without this extension. Later. During post-processing some of the internally referenced files may not be found. Also note, clicking the button, Save As, does not save or export your file. The model will only be saved after the analysis is started. The Export option, All, implies that the entire model will be exported, even if some parts of the model are not displayed. The Run options allow, for instance, to do a test run first in order to learn about possible model errors or memory requirements. And now, let us start the analysis by clicking on the radios button. Clicking the radios button will start the analysis. A window will be shown providing some basic information about the model run. Detailed information about the model run is contained in a log file with the extension out. This log file can be viewed with any text editor. And clearly, you should make sure to view this file, especially when the FEM program reports warnings and errors. By the way, there is a difference between warnings and errors. Warnings are issued, for instance if the element quality yields certain quality values. Still the analysis will keep on running. However, if the element quality is extremely bad, meaning the FEM program cannot handle the poor quality elements anymore. Then an error message is prompted and the run stops. The analysis is completed with no error messages. This looks promising. Let's minimize the pop-up window and have a look at the most important file types next. The FEM input deck is an ASCII file and contains all FEM program relevant information such as nodes, elements, materials, properties, loads, load steps etc. As mentioned before, Please use the file extension FEM. The out file is extremely important, not only when it comes to debugging the model. Always view this file. The modeling results are stored in binary format. The file name is .h3d. And finally, most of the time we deal with a standard file format, Hypermesh binary. This file contains all kind modeling information including geometry, in the header of the FEM input deck, the load step is defined. In subcase 1, the constraints, namely SPC, reference a load collector with the ID 1, loads are stored in a load collector with the ID 2. Details about constraints and loads are provided at the end of the input deck. There you will find a section about SPC and force data. How can you read this information, for instance, SPC? SPC are stored in a load collector with the ID 1 applied to nodes with a certain ID, followed by the information which DOF is affected, and finally, what is the applied magnitude? Zero stands for fixed. The section about forces reads pretty much the same. Just give it try. In the so-called bulk section information about nodes, here called grid, elements and so on are listed. For instance, each grid owns an ID and of course information about its coordinates. In the bulk section of the input deck, the elements are also listed. Let's have a look at, for instance C trial 3 elements. As you know, each element owns an ID, followed by the information about its reference property. Finally, the IDs of the three nodes building up the element are listed.
Of course, the property and material definitions are also listed in the input deck. By now, you should be a bit familiar with the meaning of P-Shell and Mat1. In fact, you have seen this kind of information while reviewing their card images in HyperMesh. Looking at the P-Shell card image, we see that the property with the ID3 is referencing a material. In addition, a thickness of 3 mm is defined within the property card. Please review the Mat1 card image explanations in the Also of interest is the FEM log file, the so-called out file. The out file provides a summary of relevant model information, such as the number of elements, nodes, or the type of elements being used. In addition, the out file contains information about the memory for out-of-core or in-core solutions. Model warnings and errors are also listed in here. You find these and other files in your working directory. In other words, all the files are saved in the directory of the .fem analysis file. For further reading and training exercises, please view the tutorials available in the help menu. Also, don't forget the starter kit manual, which also contains information about this very topic.